Jesus meets a woman at a well and he shares the good news with her. Simple. When it comes to mission and evangelism, Jesus is the master. And he says to us, as the Father has sent me, so I send you. The most important thing we need to remember is just turning up. Jesus made himself available. He was there. He was there in everyday life to listen to people's questions, to ask people questions, to show kindness, to show love and to show support. He was there. Be there. Be available. So many Christians keep themselves busy doing church things and church buildings that they cut themselves off from so many great opportunities. Make time for people. Make time for your friends and for your family. Become an active part in the place where you live. Get involved. And break out a routine and open your eyes. Now it's great that people can see our witness in the workplace and in the home and in the community. But the gospel is not caught like a cold. It's shared in words. Jesus spent two days in this town by the well teaching. We don't know word for word what he taught, but we can be sure that he told them all about himself. The gospel is a message of words about Jesus' life, death and resurrection. We're sent with a gospel of words. Get to know that gospel. Get to cherish that gospel and treasure that gospel. And then listen to others. Listen to objections that people have. Listen to hurts that people have had from the past. Listen to barriers that people put in place so that you can share that gospel of words with them. The woman in the story is amazed that Jesus speaks to her at all, but she's overwhelmed when he continues to speak to her as one who knows everything she's ever done. He sticks with her where others judged her. Great love is like that. God's love is like that, and as God's people, we're called to love like that too. Jesus was filled with compassion when he looked at people. As the Father has sent me, so I send you to love those who seem lovely and those who don't. Now this probably won't come naturally to us. We can't love like Jesus loves or do what Jesus did in our own strength. And God knows that. And that's why he goes with us. That's why he sends his spirit. You probably expect me to end with a great big commission. But I'm not going to do that. I want to ask you to ask God for a love for him. A love that fills us and gives us passion as we go and with whatever we say to share the good news about him. That's everyday mission.